Hello everybody, it's definitely been a long time since the last video. Just gonna hop right in and get right to it. Basically a lot of life things have been going on and I basically said the same thing in the last video. But, uh, last few weeks has been uh, supposed to be my son's you know, birthday parties. And let me just um, turn this down really quick. There we go. Feel like that's good. Feel like there should still be enough um to hear. But yeah, like as I was saying, base essentially what happened was uh you know my wife got sick with COVID. And you know, we're basically two years in and everything like that. We should be well past that point. But, you know, um unfortunately she's immunocompromised, so yeah, so she can't get the vaccine, even if she wanted to. Um, so, she got sick. It is what it is. We ended up having to cancel my son's first uh, birthday party. We have two. Uh, parents are divorced, so... First one was going to be my mom's side. Second one was going to be my dad's side. Um, and then... Um, last week... I'm looking at the weather reports for, um, you know, my area, and it's supposed to be, because I live in Southern California, so just, you know, the time of this recording, uh, we had some very high chances for rain, and How might I help? we had very high chance for rain, and, you know, just lightning and thunder, so I'll come Wednesday of the day I'm supposed to have my son's party, of the weekend where I'm supposed to have my son's party, you know, it's basically saying, yeah, there's like a 70% chance of rain with thunderstorms, lightning storms, and the like. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, you know, we can't do this party. You know, it's like, what, it's going to be um, hot, it's going to be humid, you know, even if it doesn't rain, you know, it's still going to be kind of a terrible, um, you know, experience, not only for my son, but for like my family members. So we decided to cancel it. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is cancelled it, ended up going to the San Diego Zoo, having a great time, and then, you know, that Saturday, obviously it was at the zoo, but no rain. Yeah, it sprinkled in the morning, but there was, like, no rain whatsoever, and I was honestly, like, really, really upset. Um, really was looking forward to my son's party, especially since, you know, we had to cancel the first one, and yeah, I mean, it's just been a lot of things going on. Uh, work is getting crazy, um, you know, we're trying to do the work of three people, and, you know, my boss doesn't want to hire anybody, and the reason why they don't want to do it, I have, I have no idea, um, I wish I understood, but, you know, I'm just an employee, you know, I'm not upper management, I don't make those kind of decisions, but yeah, so things have been really stressful at work, trying to do the work of three people, there's, like, infighting, like, today, you know, I go in, and... Next thing I know, well, you know, my coworkers are fighting with each other in the weekend that I was gone to celebrate my son's birthday. And yeah, so my coworkers are like arguing with each other. You know, there's hostility in the workplace. And I'm honestly just trying to find a new job or anything like that to, um, you know, move up or something because there's really, um, there's like really no room for advancement at this job the longer that I've been here um you know I'm in IT so you think oh you know go into like oh it's your two it's your three even you know do some sysadmin stuff or network administrator stuff and yeah you'd think that but people that are already in those positions you know their company in those positions so sorry for the breathing you know they're not going to want to leave their position and you know why would they and what really more do they have to do once the systems are in place so, like I said, just a lot of things going on, a lot of things to think about. Um, school, still one of those things. Um, kept telling myself I'm going to take my A-plus exam and everything like that, and just nothing's come of it yet. I'm, I've already, I'm scheduled to take it at the end of the month, and, you know, we'll see if it uh, ends up coming around. You know, I, I do need to do this, you know, because it's the only way I am going to advance, but... Man, I tell you, coming home for full day of work, playing with um, 
my son as much as I can, making sure you know, I'm still being a good husband to my wife and everything like that, making sure we spend time together. And then, then later at night, like at 10 or 11, when I would normally record these videos, I have to, you know, go ahead and... Sorry about that, this is my wife texting me. I have to go ahead and do homework and everything like that. Sorry, someone's just walking behind me. I don't really like the way my desk is set up. Um, my back is basically towards like the staircase, and I hate it. But there's only a place I could really put my stuff. So, yeah, it is what it is. Can't really complain. Got my stuff. Got my place at least. Let's see. Okay. Um, I already got the witches. Um. Finding runes, gotta kill more of those. Boom. But yeah, the next best thing is I'm um, still trying to move out. Um, I did pull a lot of overtime in the weeks leading up to my son's uh, birthday parties because, you know, they're gonna be spending a lot of money. You know, to have two birthday parties, you know, like over 60 people to feed spread over two weekends. So, you know, I had to make sure that I had the food. So I did a lot of pickup shifts, did overtime and everything like that. So what I'm hoping is that come time to, you know, when they look at my, when they look at my, um, you know, gross income and everything like that, those couple of days where I took extra shifts, it'll push me over the edge just a little bit in order to get our own place. And I'm really hoping, really, really hoping. Uh-oh. There we go. Cuz I'm pretty sure it's in the last video, just my wife and I need our own place. You know, it's fun living with family and all that, but you know, it's time to spread our rings and fly, essentially. Alright, last one. I'm gonna go turn this one in. Oh, they're already here. Never mind. We shall drive back the darkness. Oh, okay. Guess I gotta kill you. There we go. Be wary of the woods. Fair winds and following seas. So what do I gotta do? Just kill them. Stand strong. Farewell. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hoping that things turn around as far as my schooling, my certificates go, just to help us move out. Because, man, having a kid, there's so much space to swear you move one thing and three more things take its place. But yeah, so, still going to school, like I said, so I'm studying for my A+, plus, trying to get my Network Plus after that, my CCNA, just a lot of work to do, so that's why I haven't really been, you know, um, making these videos, because I've just been studying as much as I can, and like I said, I do try and do these in my free time, but you know, unfortunately I'm not having any free time, so... Starting to look forward into um, another uh, series, I guess, to do. 
um, you know, I do have lots of different games I want to play, but the thing is, you know, I wanted to, you know, make sure that I can get to them in like a timely matter. Um, WoW is just the simplest for me because I've got everything set up. I could just hit record, upload, you know, make that image for the thumbnail and I'm good to go. But with other games, like, you know, I've been trying to play the Mass Effect again and I did um, stream it a little bit on my on my Twitter before I really stopped. And, you know, it was fun. I really enjoyed playing Mass Effect again. It was really, um, really brought me back to, you know, being like 10 years ago, essentially, because I think it was Mass Effect 2 was coming out or had just come out. And I didn't want to, you know, play 2 without playing 1. So I just went ahead and, you know, begged my mom to get a Best Buy and just pick up the first one. I remember just falling in love with the game. Adept Life is the best life it was incredibly fun um then you know played the second one that was great you know playing all that dlc and all that good stuff um but yeah i mean my title is inquisitor now mayor you know mass effect 3 ending was okay i guess i mean it's not really what i may have wanted you know in particular but I mean, what are you gonna do like, i'm i'm what 2012 at the time i'm barely turning what 16 i have no idea what the hell game design is then at least that little dlc thing came out made it a little bit uh i'm gonna say tolerable but made it um made it a little bit cooler to watch i guess let's see Uh, fine, the Master Ashton. Was fierce. I hope Master Ashton is still alive. Let's get this stuff done. If anyone could survive, it's him. I'm going to check the lab's gardens, Inquisitor. Yeah, and I just remember being so excited that you know, Legendary Edition came out, and you know, playing the game, uh, at least seeing the improvements of Mass Effect One. I for me at least i'm pretty sure a lot of people you know felt the same but the combat for mass effect one was just really uh clunky and very hard to like pull off right you know have the powers and everything like that you have all of these little abilities item management and things like that so i feel like the series went in a great direction um going in the combat of mass effect 2 and then you know refining it in three stand back I have alchemy, and I know how to use it. At ease, Master Ashton. Shall we get We're started? Friendly. Well, don't you both look dangerous. Ha, is the attack over then? Yeah, I just love that series so much. So when the Legendary Edition came out, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to play it. But mind you, at this point, what us my son was already friend. born. It's so, a fine day for a what am I going to do? Um, Until next time, friend. I have no time. <laughs> no time. Um... I love being a dad. Don't you know? It seems like oh, I, all I think about is like. So I gathered, but why me? Lady Lucy. All I think is like complaining about like all my son and my family, but I love them. I, I love them both, my wife and son, extremely, so much. Um. She found an alchemical recipe that was. You know, I wouldn't be who I am without my my son and my wife. You know, they they've shown me. You know the best thing the best part of me and they've helped me work on like the not the worst but like the not so desirable parts of me because you know i want to keep my family i want to make sure that they're doing good and i want to do good by them so i do love my son i miss the free time i had don't get me wrong i miss um like you know just being it like right now like if i wanted to I would play games for like the next, let's see, it's going to be nine o'clock right now. I play games for like the next hour or two, you know, just, um, staying up late, playing games. You know, like I said, now I go to work play with my son, I go home, play with my son and all of that. Make sure he's good to go for bed. I'm going to spend time with my wife. Yeah, I like it. It's um, a peaceful life. Well, not peaceful. You know, things are... Uh, a little bit hectic, but it's a it's a routine that I never thought I'd it's too far away. I'd um 
find myself in. It's a routine that I thought oh, I'll be 30 by the time, uh, you know, that happens. And then I'll have all this time to still enjoy myself. But oh, I got a whisper actually. Um, sorry, person. Connect to close that because this character is only for the beginning of Shadowlands and the purpose of, you know, going through all of this. This, this side quest is taking forever. Yo, my dude up real quick. Yeah, um, like I said, um, if there's any games like you'd probably um, want to see, just you know, mention in the chat. Um, I did actually respond to my first real comment the other day. I think it was today, actually. Just someone asking about, like, yo, what the hell is up with the audio? And, you know, it may not seem like much, but it really was um, a nice little thing to see. Like, oh, yeah, I am improving. I am learning some new things as far as like you know audio levels things like that adjusting it you know making sure that you know setting the the um parameters i guess uh for the my mic and my headset to pick up sound it was really eye-opening uh and really like a nice learning experience not sure whenever i use it again maybe you know uh down the line where i move get new setup and i'm still doing this but like I said, this is mainly just for fun. Got a creative outlet, kind of like vent at the end of the day too. Oh, hold on, one second. Just adjusting my mic really quick. And I am definitely feeling the slowdown in the leveling right now. There it is. Well, we got one level and we're actually almost done. Shall we so. get started? Fair winds to you. Got through it. Okay, we're gonna speak with this guy. It's a fine day for a little applied alchemy. Follow the lessons. Sulfur. What do you need? First bloom. Just gonna drink some peace tea real quick. Excuse me. This reminds me of the quest in Legion where I have to stomp on the grapes. Like some arc wine wine. Pretty sure we're gonna need some saltpeter at some point, so I want to say it. Alright, it's not. What 
challenges await us today, friend. Right. Remember, measure twice gonna test, or once. Gonna test it on the behemoths. Boom. Ooh, dang. Thing died quick. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump here. this come on come on come on come on you can reach you can reach you can reach and register yes nice and we got a wolf Let's head back down. I tried my best to fight them off. Oh, they take the dude. They came from the woods. We fought. Master Ashton shoved me aside and they took him. We have to get him back. Probably get, um... Cloak. You probably have things you should be doing. Well met, champion. Be wary of the woods. All right. Oh, it's actually over here. Gonna go into the crimson forest. Stand strong. Remain steadfast. It worries me when you show up. All right, let's go here. Hey, it's let me locked. out of here. It's locked. It's a fine day for a little applied alchemy. Trustful stands firm. So I can I release this guy? I need a moment. I've been trying to break this cage for hours. Seems like you weren't doing a good job. Sword. Harrison couldn't even jump over that rock. Take that person out.
There you go. Get out of here. The horror. The horror. Horror. Oh, I gotta kill these things, but I was killing them and nothing was even happening. Okay, loot them. Need three, or no, I need two more bag of regents and an organic matter sampler. So that's gonna come from them, I guess. gamer move right there. And went too far. Let's go back. Okay. They're named Mongrel on both ends, so that's kind of like not my fault. this video might be a little short just for this one just for coming back i'm not trying to do it like oh you guys have to you know pump out i gotta like pump out multiple ones i'm gonna make them shorter and shorter it's just um like i said i had a lot of things that i needed to do and unfortunately you know i gotta do them so it says we're going to be about 30 minutes um, for the recording that we're doing right now. So I'll go ahead and end it in like, I don't know, 35. So we'll see if we can get these last quests done real quick. Alright, we got our new uh, spell, Shadow Fury. Stuns all enemies within 8 yards for 3 seconds. Instant cast? No, 1.4. Not too bad and then in two levels we're gonna get either dark fury mortal coil or hall of terror more than likely i'm gonna be taking oil just seems like the better one in my opinion so fear and you restore like what what was it 20 health seems pretty good to me all right, just need one more organic matter. Hex to bramble back. Go back in. Drop this bad boy. Doesn't seem to pick up my pet, and my pet doesn't seem to be registering anybody else. It's pretty neat.
Wow, I didn't even get the organic matter. I hate these low drop rate quests. Got it. New information. Fair winds and following seas. My blade is ready. You want my assistance? I am I sorry imagine? they took your husband from you, but your daughter is safe in town. Be careful heading back. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't stay. Um, do try. Don't worry. <laughs> nice. Go on. Me twice. Got a item upgrade, and wow, well, gonna finally be upgrading the gloves I've had since I did a tutorial level. Nice. Oh, much to do, much to do. Shall we get started? Until next time, friend. Let's see. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Um, like I said, this video is just going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones. Um, just getting back into the thick of things. I'm really going to try to figure out this upload schedule. I'm, I do really enjoy making these videos. I know it may not seem like a lot of effort is being put into them, but you know, I do enjoy making them. It's a little reprieve. It's a little something different that I do with my day. And yeah, just I thought, you know. When I first started these videos, I thought, you know what, I like playing games. I needed some sort of creative outlet. Why not make, um, you know, just some random YouTube videos. But, yeah, for those that are watching, thank you so much for, you know, having patience with me. Um, it was never my intention to, you know, be so late with the uh, two weeks in between videos. But, hey, here we are. Um, but I am, like I said. I am going to be um, doing a new series. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to be like right now, just random game clips from you know my best matches in Halo, Fortnite, um, another episodic game, kind of like a you know Mass Effect the series, like maybe Skyrim, but that's perpetually generated, so probably not that. Who knows? Maybe I'll just hit random on. Maybe I'll just hit randomize on the. Uh, game pass and i'll just do videos like that but regardless thank you guys for watching it's deeply appreciated for that one person that left a comment that randomly you know watch my videos i appreciate it i hope you uh, come back to watch this next video and yeah hope you guys have a good one peace